confetti club it is pixie and we are here back again for another monthly favorites i want to apologize just literally right off the bat if my energy is a little bit lower or if i'm a little bit more soft-spoken your girl's been having a little bit of a rough go and i have a crazy headache and i've been trying to get in the headspace to film for three days now this video just a favorites video so Pixie is like running at 85% right now, so if I seem a little bit weird, that's why. But it's egg day, mother frienders. I can't have these. Those are illegal. Bunny day, bunny month, bunny time, eggy time. We're here for the March monthly favorites. I bought my favorite eggs. I've had these decorations for years. Aren't they just the best? Here, let's eggy up the place. This, oh, that, oh. Welcome to the end of the month. I guess the start of the new month. It's April, spring flowers, May showers, please come. It's still been snowing the past few days. Today, at least, it's a little bit sunny. We're streaming through the window. Please come, bring in that energy. And we're gonna talk about some of the things that have been making me happy this month, a la favorite style. I think we all had to adjust the way we've been living our daily routines and going about our just daily, weekly, monthly life. And now that it's the end of April, at least for me, it's been around a month, maybe four weeks that like, you know, the world's been the way it's been. Am I coping better or just starting to slip into the madness? Not sure, but feeling cozy, feeling chill. Let's get into the favorites list, folks. This month also contained my birthday on March 5th. Um, so I am going to be showing all of the things that I got for my birthday from my sweet friends and stuff. So I have some fun items to show. Yay. Let's start in the lifestyle category, shall we? Um, lifestyle in favorites in Pixie Lock's brain when I make these videos world means like you know, daily activity things that have been taking up hours of my life. And definitely, I think you're probably gonna know what I'm about to say. Animal Crossing. Crossing. I, like pretty much everyone else on the planet, have been tending to my beautiful Animal Crossing island. Um, I have my Bimbendo bench here to show you. How wow. So yeah, I haven't been putting like as many hours as I would have in high school into it because I have like still doing online classes and trying to keep up with work and stuff here. Has anyone else been feeling like a little bit of Animal Crossing inadequacy, seeing all the people's amazing friggin amazing islands and towns and landscaping and terraforming on Twitter like oh my god I just got my camper but I'm having a ton 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 of fun with it it has been my number one go-to like relax kind of almost unplug <laughs> unplug but like plug in in a therapeutic way so it's it's been really 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 helpful <laughs> not to talk about animal crossing like that seriously but um it's been helping me brain i mentioned in a previous video that we filmed or tried to film my very first time playing it where we like had all the introductions and set up the island and named it and made my character and stuff but the footage was really 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 bad and just I don't want to put you guys through that so we ended up ordering a capture card for our Nintendo Switch to hopefully like you know this is like $225, so hopefully to make a, not just one Animal Crossing video, maybe a couple. Maybe like a monthly Animal Crossing check-in, if people care slash continue to care. But because of the way the world is, Amazon very, very, very sensibly um, is like not shipping out things that aren't priority or necessity so like my capture card can definitely wait a minute um and it's not coming till may now so i was wondering quicken recently did the cutest video ever and i really liked the way that it looked just kind of flat lay filming like filming the actual handheld console so I've been thinking about doing a video like that in the meantime while we wait for the capture card to come for like that high quality pristine direct footage. I don't know, Do you guys, can you guys wait for the direct footage or do you think it would be fun to have a little flat lay top down, you know, Animal Crossing, ooh you can look at my thumb manicure the whole time. So yeah, Animal Crossing had to be mentioned, very, you know, it's a lifestyle. I also that I've held on to 
my um, ridiculous amiibo card collection all of these years. I have a binder of many, 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 many. So um, the fact that they're so useful in New Horizons has been making me very excited. <laughs> Thank you Animal Crossing for the sanity uh, supplementation. <laughs> oh, okay, another techie thing that I got this month. My mom for my birthday gifted me something I was not expecting at all. It was just not in my brain sphere. Um, um, an iPad Pro with Procreate and a freaking Apple Pen. So I have been gifted the literal gift of creativity and I've been having so, so, so much fun experimenting with Procreate and playing around with that. I've done some school assignments on it already and some like tattoo design mock-ups for whenever I can get a tattoo again. Oh my God, my tattoo itch lately, like brain itch, like wanna itch, not like just got one itch, like I want a tattoo itch. It's been real lately. I think it's because of the fact you literally, like I literally can't get a tattoo. It's like, fuck, I just want some fabric scissors right there. And here he is. Here's my friend. Of course she got rose gold because she's the queen. And ooh, how fancy is this? You know what surprised me? You know what surprised me? This? That's not an eraser. Anyway, yeah, this has been the best thing ever. I, this is funny, I didn't realize I haven't bought drawing software since I was like 14 probably and paid for Paint Tool Sci on my old, old, old PC. Like I've been using the free software, like the free Corel Painter software that comes with the Wacom tablets or Wacom or whatever. And like the tablet I've been using for a while, they don't even make it anymore. So I've been using some real outdated kind of janky drawing software and just didn't ever clue into the fact that, hmm, life probably gets better than this. So I don't know, now that I have Procreate, my entire life has changed and it's crazy and I did not know that technology had come so far. Oh my God, it's like Photoshop and Corel put together. You can transform things. Uh, the, the, Digital painting is also crazy. The brushes are, oh, I love them. Yes, oh, oh, mm -hmm. lots more art. Art on this forever, art, art, art forever. I do have a case for it. Um, This is the keyboard that comes with it. Somehow I misplaced the actual case part. I've been using this also for all of my Zoom meetings for our online classes because it has the best camera of all my Apple products now because it's the newest product I have. So, um, I don't know. The case is somewhere, we'll find it. It's been gone for like five days. But I haven't left my house, so it's in here. Before we move on from this lifestyle section, I want to do a quickie little haul and like appreciation section for some of the wonderful, thoughtful things I received for my birthday. Um, earlier this month, I had a little shindig with my pals. We had like a Pisces party again before the world went on lockdown, which was super fun to film and all that stuff. And I forgot that birthdays sometimes include presents and I was so freaking blessed. My friend Danny in the class above me, Senpai Danny in fashion, freaking Mm. This means a ridiculous amount to me. Um, she spent like hours every night. She was like, I spent like, you know, three to four hours every night for like a week and a half on this while she's in second year supposed to be working on her collection. Danny embroidered me Spinel's gem from Steven Universe. And like, Spinel means so much to me as a character. I love her so, so much. I really relate to her and I think she's funny and spunky and she's just my favorite ever. And I'm obsessed with other friends and I'm obsessed with Spinel. And just, she also was like, I've never embroidered anything before. So it took me a little while and it's not perfect. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It is just, just one of the sweetest friggin' things anyone's ever done for me. So this and also, ooh, am I sad? Or am I happy? No one knows, but because of this gift, I'm definitely very happy. It's just friggin' beautiful. Also, how dare this be like your first embroidery project? Like, screw off. I really need to find the perfect place for it. I feel like it needs to go on pink denim of some kind, and I'm not sure. There's like cat hairs on it, cause cat hairs on everything. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I want to put it on like right facing up, or like sad facing down, or put it on like a, a backing with a pin so that I can twist it around depending. Anyway, yeah. Friendship. 
Another thing my freaking amazing friends made me from my other senpai classmate in the year above me, um, Kennedy, handmade me this little accessory to like go with my D&D character Picel. We're also all in the D&D group together. It's a little pink shell with little cute bubbly rhinestones and like rainbow scale ribbon. What? This is so, so cute. I wore it last time we played together, which was also the last time I've had social interaction. So, <laughs> remembering those times well. From my friends for my day of birth, I also received some fantastic muggery and or kitchen devices. <laughs> No, I got some really, really cute kitchenware. I got this set. This is actually a set that includes like a teapot and a steeper and stuff. Oh, come on. Clear glass with these happy, happy little bee friends. Oh my God, the glass bees. I like that I said I was gonna be low energy and quiet in this video and I'm just like, look at the bee! That was from my fantastic friend, Oakley. And from my fantastic friends Emily and Sam, Steve and I received these matching mugs. They're little piggy pigs. Um, this is Steve's, but it has my current coffee in it. Oh, you can't see it, and I don't want to pour it on myself. But um, mine actually has a little bow, but I'm stealing from Steve as per usual. That's right, babe. Check your wallet. <laughs> it's all gone. Okay, in the fashion category, I have clothing. Ha 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 ha. Um, that basically means I've actually been rooting through my laundry and actually wearing like leggings, sweatpants, snowman print fleece pajama bottoms. So sadly, um, fashion has kind of left me during these times. I really appreciate that I get to dress up for you guys for like my internet world. Cause otherwise, yeah, the snowman flannels would never leave me. I do have like an accessory kind of trend favorite though. You might notice there is something on my nog. I have been really, really obsessed with the trend of these giant friggin' just ridiculous oversized barrette clips. I've seen everyone wearing them like pearl ones and plain ones and clear ones and rhinestone ones and stuff like that. Um, and I, I don't know, I just love how they look. I think it's like, almost so cartoony and big and anything that is easy to see from a mile away is definitely up my alley. So I love here, we have him next to some regular size brethren. Um, I only have three individual ones cause they're plastic and they're little and I don't wanna lose them, but I've been looking at these trends for like a month and a half on the gram. So I decided to pick myself up a couple of these Big, big, juicy friends, and I've been loving them a lot. Please forgive my roots. Does anyone wish we had like a new genre of occupation of like quarantine stylist? Maybe, ooh, quarantine stylist. Traveling around in protective gear, home to home, doing everyone's nails and roots. Please, we're all gonna look real busted after this. Oh, and the other thing in my like accessories favorites was tattoo itch. I just can't stop thinking about tattoos. Again, maybe it's cause I literally can't like drive to Halifax right now and like tattoo shops are closed and stuff, but mm, I've been thinking maybe about doing a like tattoo wishlist video. That's been kind of on my back burner for a long time, but I want to have some like half decent representations of what my ideas even are. And I don't want to just like be like, I want to tattoo like this person's because then it's like, you know, don't just get other people's tattoos. So maybe I'll sketch some of them out. I'll sketch most of them out at least a little bit so that maybe I'll do a tattoo wishlist video to uh, scratch that itch. Music time. I like talking about music. I hope you guys don't mind a little bit. Um, I've still been listening to an ungodly amount of steam powered giraffe. It's kind of gotten out of control. Literally Captain Albert Alexander from their very first album ever. It is a seven minute song about a man who sailed on the seas and it just plays through my head for 48 hours at a time and it's so loud like I wish I could crank down the volume of the songs in my head. <laughs> Cause they they're so loud that they like come out through my mouth speaker and then Steve's like you are are you having fun? And I'm like oh other than that, I have been really, 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 really obsessed with Demi Lovato's new single. 
You might not know this about me. I am a fucking Demi Lovato stan. I am a Lovatic. I love her very much. I respect her. I love her. Demi, Demi, Demi. I actually got to see her live. Was that only last year? Oh my God. Or the year before. I don't know, but she came out with a new song after being away for a long time. Um, Demi Lovato did have that really, really, really scary overdose situation and was hospitalized and in rehab for a long while. So this is her like debut after being gone for a while due to all of those circumstances. And she uh, came back with her song on the Grammys Anyone, which gives me Goosebumps, it is beautiful, it's amazing, and I love her. And um, then she came out with the absolute self-love bop, I love me, music videos, fire, she's so cute. She's like watching like two demis literally fight it out in front of her while she's trying to meditate. Oh my God, that's me! The lyrics are freaking crazy. That's so, it's so exactly like the song I needed to come out right now. She's giving me like Lizzo love myself energy with Demi's honest sweetness. We've struggled with a lot of the same stuff, like bulimia and self-harm and internet hate and like weight gain and stuff. So I, and like also when I was a literal baby in elementary school, my RuneScape username was LovatoLover14. So let's just say I must stand for life. I, th I think that's all I have to ramble about. Anime, um, we finished Heartcatch. It was epic. <gasps> no! <gasps> Okay, speaking of heart catch, <gasps> my coffee, okay. I just put up my updated Magical Girl collection and the day that that was going up, I received an item in the mail. He is with us now. This is Coop. <laughs> um, this is a vinyl figure of the Big grandma fairy from Hardcatch Precure. Um, Steve and I were rewatching Hardcatch Precure. I was showing it to him for the first time. It was me rewatching it for the first time since like high school. And Steve was like, Can you imagine owning Coop anything? And this was uh, about a week, two weeks before my birthday. So I was feeling like really treating myself. I felt like I deserved a singular birthday present to self. So it was this. This is a Cooper Semma figure that I bought secondhand on eBay. I love him very, very, very much. He's giant. He's fantastic. He looks fucking hilarious. He's like just the ugliest man ever. Look at the horn on his head. Look at his little independently moving fingernails. I just love him so much. This is the best purchase I have ever made. And he lives now like um, on the table part, like dead center in between all of the figures. He literally lives front and center. So this is our new ruler, Kupe Sama. Okay, now that I've mentioned that, I think I've covered all my bases. We're currently watching Doki Doki. And I, f I honestly, I am liking it a hundred million times more than when I first watched it. So if you think you don't like Doki Doki Precure, I would watch it again, but watch it almost for the spectacle of bizarrity and just try to appreciate where they went with it and the bravery. <laughs> if you can like detach yourself from your expectations, it's so fun. I think your Rosetta might be like my top, like top five top five for you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm actually realizing I like Doki Doki a lot more than I thought. They really went there. <laughs> this video's Feature Confetti Club member is Flair's Unfortunate Soul Cosplay on Instagram, who did this freaking, freaking adorable digital illustration of me in like the coziest looking sweater of all time. Your style is amazing. I love how you draw eyes. I love my giant pink freaking eyelashes. I like how you did my ear holes. And I love this, I, oh my God. First of all, the hands are drawn amazingly. And I love this like, meh, this energy, this like. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this with me. I love it very much. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one's over. Bye.